myself. But we got Lutano. Oh, I guess I am back over the halfway Diamond 2 mark. Braxis Holdout. We have a Bruiser here. Hmm. Looks like I'm bottom tank looking at this lineup. Unless we wanted to do like Zul'jin or something, but I would want to late pick that. And yeah, I thought you were going to heal. But they're looking to Assassin. So they're switching over to tank now. There's a Bruiser. And this is going to be what? What is it? What's this going to be? Hogger, 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 Phoenix. So it looks like I'm support. I could do Deckard here. Well, and maybe that's maybe that's more the the thing of the lore continued to build a world that was coasting, that was sustainable but what we needed was a world where people were toppling other people and interesting things were happening but what i really if they were going to do lore what i really wanted is like gul'dan got with mephisto and they created a stukov evil baby skin that you know like i wanted the heroes to interact with each other i wanted varian to team up with vala to defeat Angel Diablo because he's become corrupted by mouth, you know, like just like you got all these moving pieces. You know what it is? You know what it is? We got Anna, we got Falstad. Uh, if, if they want to hold out, okay. It, it's homebrew. That's ultimately what happened. And I do not, I, I still to this day do not blame the del, the, 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 the developers for what they did because they looked at all these source books. They looked at all of fifth edition and, and all their D&D books and they said, but what if I made my own creatures? What if I, what if I, what if I could make this better? But sometimes like Star Wars, it's not about making up crazy crap. It's about what you do with the moving pieces you have. It's like deck building. You don't go making your own cards because that's boring for everybody because anything is possible. And now there are no restrictions and nothing's really all that fun. Instead, you have this pile of cards, a set, a set, a number of sets, a season. And how you combine those is what makes life interesting. Anyway, we got Anna, Imperious, Deathwing, Falstad. That's going to be a Tracer. Um, I do like, oh, Malfurion's Band. I'm still going to do Deckard here, but I wish I could Malfurion, but they banned that. What I did enjoy was the events with references to pop culture. Like mech event. Yeah, mech event was really cool. The anime kind of stuff. Seeing that that's also that excuse to see the game in another style or with better graphics that lets you impose your own mental graphics on top of the game. You know, seeing Tyrael be that badass in an anime looking thing made you go, wow, I Tyrael moves a little clunky in game, but man, I can imagine him moving like that. And now he's even more badass in the game because you now have this mental image on top of what you're watching. Doesn't always work. Doesn't necessarily work in video game cutscenes because then Jack in Mass Effect 2 is like destroying a whole room of robots and you're like, Jack, you have a pistol and you kind of suck when you're on my party. Why are you so amazing in cutscenes? Even worse, of course, is the, you know, the Prince of Persia you fall a distance and you die, but then in the cutscene you get knocked down a well and you're fine at the bottom. You just wake up a little later, right? I don't think there's ever been a game where you can't swim and then you swim in a cutscene, but that would be... That would be a true error. That would be really disgusting. 
I have to stun them at 16. Uh, mm, I don't think we'll be doing it into hammer. I don't think we'll be doing that into hammer. There's a chance I could stun Falstad or maybe even Imperius out of his charge, but I think that's way too dangerous to step up into. I'll probably do Ancient Blessings. I know it's not, you know, it has that cooldown requirement. It doesn't proc off every Tracer attack. And we'll probably do Emerald, I'm thinking, because if Hammer's going to be getting Chain Healed, it is fun, and it's so great just smacking a, a Genji or something. Or even a tank like um, like May can be kind of interrupted from time to time, but I don't see Imperius with his dancing around almost Stitches style looking for a stab that he'll be hanging out on top of us. Sometimes even Johanna. You stun Johanna and, and she's dead. So we'll probably do a Jemmy build. And I think Ruby could be picked up by Tracer and ETC. So maybe Ruby. They should be pretty tightly packed. I would let him go in on Hammer. So we'll probably do a Jemmy build here. Field study would actually grant a lot of spell power, though. This slow is great, but... Hmm. But I'd also be casting a 40 mana spell on hammers that I'm not actually going to interact with very often. Okay. Do I need... I could easily have spell power. I could easily have so much spell power here. But the slow is good. Let's do the slow. Just for the power to pursue with the tracer. And we'll just hold off on getting crazy. Because there's no point, because Deckard will 100, 100% run out of mana. On Braxis. We're basically waiting for Tracer to come down. Not in a bad way. Oh, get the drinks! Oh. That was a beautiful trail of drinks. But he stepped up into that Stitches-like range. Hit somebody, hit somebody. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to be out of mana. Oh, no, did he not have a face melt? I want to do Ruby because I think we're going to make use of it. 
how's top going? They're actually holding on to it pretty good. Yeah, that Gul'dan barely, barely survived. Tracer's gonna rotate up by the looks of it. Nope. Okay. And these these engages are really oh, expensive on my mana. Though Tracer did get in the back and steal a little bit of progress there. So we're trying to use Scroll of Sealing and Haradra Cube to help peel, and that's not that's not really going well. Though our damage should be okay. Okay, yeah, it looks like Drain Life for sure. It's just so popular right now, so crazy popular. What I need to do is kind of get forward and set up a bunch of pots on the point. So that my teammates, and particularly my tracer up here, can get healed up while they're doing this background messing with stuff things. I'm trying not to stand on top of anybody because I, I really don't want to receive a spear that causes us all to wipe in one big go. That's not a bad idea there. You know, Gul'dan might be over drinking a bit, but I mean, Morales would be out of energy too, so it's not like. Okay, Zerg Wave incoming. I'm gonna switch over to slow here. That's not gonna. We're gonna lose this port. Oh, oh, okay. He's okay. And we've got Bomb, we got Falstad Wind. There's actually not a lot for me to interrupt with Stay a While Listen, but it can be enough just to get some noise out there. Oh, 
Okay, that's a dead Imperius. There's gonna be a slowed hammer. Tracers on their back. Oh, she's got no health. Danny, good to see you. Thank you for the 25 months. Happy Wednesday to you. There is a strategy which is kind of cute that Deckard tanks all the camps because he has armor. So you always make sure your Deckard is the one getting hit because his value exchange to health and damage is better than a hero without armor. Min Maxon, absolutely. Every little bit. Could probably do safety in numbers too. Oh, that's a good sleep. Luckily, nothing bad came of it, but. Grab this well on cooldown. Power spike from the beacons. They'll be active soon. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. Ancient blessings. Right, we should have a team that can make use of it. Cool. She wants to hold on to her bomb, which is fair. There's some XP being burned at the bottom, which D.Va should be able to go get. Super healing potions would be really good, but uh, I'm hoping that Ancient Blessings will help my Tracer to live where she's off to. She keeps ending up pretty deep. Oh, there's a death wing back here. That's gonna mean it's a very deep. Oh. Oh, Gul'dan, he's still alive. Oh, oh my goodness. Bombs going off? Okay. But Diva would get energy from the damage. That's true. That's true. Depends, I guess, on her level one full metal. Yeah, she'd be able to recover. Oh, sleeping Gul'dan. That sucks. Oh, oh. We should be doing pretty good. Anna's actually got better healing than me, which is tough to see. Because we've been potioning a lot. It's a good train mount.
I tried to see if I could get engage on hammer set up there for us. I'm sad it didn't work out. Okay, we're just all gonna run at Deathwing here. Diva's got that. Safety numbers will give me some regeneration, which is really nice. So now we shouldn't have mana issues. Oh, Deathwing in the back. Oh, that Deathwing in the back was really good. Well, I'm old man walking away. Oh, geez, don't mind a gust me, bro. Don't mind a gust me, bro. Oh, uh, we get some Zerg points. We do get some objective value, that's true. Are they doing boss? False stat is Lloyd! Lloyd! Of all, of all the people, it's Lloyd. Our new arch nemesis. Okay, boss and wave top. We are 100%. Uh, yes. oh, no. Gonna lose that fort. Good sleep. The sleeps last forever. Another fly in. Pit only hit Deathwing there. Get him, Lloyd. Oh, he dodged it. Okay. I wish there was a boss available. Dan wants to go Fort Bottom because it's pushed out, but I don't think there's time. Oh, cool, Dan. But he got the fear off on Hammer before he left.
Okay. Deathwing's in space. Okay. Well, that evened us up in that lane. That's a great lane that that all just happened in. There's a chance they come around through that top bush there. So that's what I'm nervous about. I think bottomless flasks would have been pretty good too, but... We're just, we're just casting as many flasks as we can all the time. Deathwing is really sticky. Damn. We got a camp going bottom. There are potions around. Diva's using the site there. Okay, boss is up. Man is getting a little low again. I want to get in range of people. Yeah, we're just down. There it is, there it is. Come on. Oh, nice gust. Oh no, is Tracer out of juice? Oh jeez, Deathwing's really good. Man, Deathwing is really good. Oh, the fear isn't aggressive. Diva gets control of bottom. Oh no, Deathwing's landing on top of Gul'dan. Gul'dan, you gotta live, Gul'dan. Oh, Gul'dan, he's gone. Okay, this objective does, however, get super damage on Deathwing. Oh, come on, you gotta get, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get rid of him. You gotta get rid of him. The bomb's gonna go off. Okay, there goes Hammer. Now you gotta get rid of Falstad. Oh my goodness, we can go win in the top. Maybe now you'll learn to respect your elders. Yeah, core, core, core. We got 20 seconds.
We did it. We did it. Wow. Damn. We did it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I still got out here by Anna, which sucks. But I mean, what, what else could what, did I out damage Anna? I did. <laughs> uh, man. Wow. Thank you to Lutana for pushing the team to go core there and getting it done. I'm sure, I'm sure some more direct heals would have been appreciated on the Tracer with how aggressive they were playing, but I'm, I'm decently proud of myself for at least focusing on pots and not running out of mana. And this little gem, we'll read in a second because the game is about to end. Take that, Lloyd. Take that, whoever you are, and you might be a nice person, but you've been in a lot of my games recently, Lloyd. And I, I, I ain't got patience for you, Lloyd. This isn't a personal attack as you would a person, but as a player, Lloyd, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little, a little thin, Mr. Lloyd. If at least two allied heroes are nearby, Fortitude of the Faithful grants an additional 10 armor, 50% mana generation per second and causes Deckard's basic abilities to recharge an additional 50% faster. A great talent. Sadly, I don't think this counts as a basic ability, though. But that was kind of neat. And I'm not sure if Respect the Elder... Well, Respect the Elderly did Silence and Blind, so maybe... Maybe Falstad's able to end? That's a good... I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that, Danny. I'll take that. I'll put that in my pocket and be like, hey, you know what? You're right. You're right. Anna was healing Hammer. Of course she's going to have lots of healing because the target's always standing still. I was mad impressed by... Oh, this is Alucard. We see him around. That was a really, really good Deathwing. So sticky. And it's not like their mobility or anything. I mean, I guess they were attacking Deckard and Gul'dan, but yeah. Great de Deathwing. Holy moly.